everyone and welcome to another Stitch Fix unboxing from me. I'm so excited! Especially after, I mean, I'm always excited for my Stitch Fix videos. I just enjoy it. I really do. I know some people are like, why would you waste your money? Because I think it's fun. Not to waste my money, because I don't think it's a waste of money. But either way, especially after last Stitch Fix, my last video that I did on them, I tried out with you guys' you know, not consent, but you guys requested that I tried out the lowest price tier with Stitch Fix, and I loved that box that they sent me. I thought they sent me really good stuff, stuff that was even better quality than their not cheapest tier of stuff. So I'm really excited. I kept it on the same settings, I'm pretty sure. I didn't touch anything, so I hope it stayed on the same settings, and I'm excited to see what they send me for my second round of cheapest tier products. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Stitch Fix, I am technically an affiliate. Anyone can be an affiliate, whether you have a YouTube channel or not. Just figured I'd let you guys know. I always have my link down below if you want to go ahead and check out Stitch Fix. I would really appreciate it. You know, it does give me a little bit of kickback if you do sign up for a fix, but it's completely free. You don't even have to give them a credit card if you want. You can hop on, take your style profile quiz. It's a bit of fun. I always like doing those things anyways. And then if you actually are interested in signing up for a fix, you can schedule your first one. You can do it right away. You can do it 10 months from now. You know, I actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't know how long your profile stays like active if you don't order. I would assume at least a month, but either way, you can sign up for every, I think two weeks you can do it as often as every two weeks order a stitch fix. I think that's a little excessive but hey, you do you. I personally do it every other month. You can do it, I think every two months is like the most spaced out, but you can cancel at any time. So if you just want to order one stitch fix and then you're not sure if you ever want to do it again, you don't ever have to get another one again. You know what I mean? It's 20 bucks for a fix and then whatever you end up keeping from your box, that $20 gets deducted off of the price of the item. So say you keep two shirts, the two shirts total out 50 bucks. You only have to pay an additional $30 to the $20 you already paid to get your fix sent to you. Now, if you do not keep anything from your box, you don't get refunded your 20 bucks. Like that's how they stay in business, you know? And I will say, you know, the first couple few stitch fix Fixes, they're gonna be pretty hit and miss because your stylist won't know your style 100% quite yet but as you keep getting more and more they get way more affiliated with your style affiliated assimilated no they figure out your style a lot better based on what you end up sending back. Returns slash also exchanges, like if you need a different size of something, are free. They send you a pre-stamped mailer bag that you just throw everything in, whether you want to keep it or if or not if you want to keep it, don't send it back. <laughs> but if you want to exchange it or if you don't want to keep the item, you just put it in the bag, put it in the mail, and then that part is completely free. And yeah, I think that's about it. You get five items every month. You can specify what you want. You know, if you're looking exclusively for shirts and dresses or if you want a pair of shoes, they've got shoes, they've got accessories like jewelry and scarves and bags and then clothing, you know, pants, shirts, all that good stuff. So I think it is time I have babbled at you guys enough. I'm gonna crack into my stitch fix here. I don't think I requested anything special. I always just say no cold shoulder tops. I think I typically specify no crop tops, but you know, I really, I don't remember what I wrote. So like I said, right on top, we've got the pre-stamped mailer bag. Ooh, I think I got a pair of shoes. Oh, I did. I think I actually did specify one thing. So uh, they also have the little envelope that tells you not only the price of the items, but then it's also got the cute little, oh, hello card in there that tells you why the stylist picked out things for you and just a little note from the stylist in general. I'll look at that later. But yeah, I did. I specified uh, if they had any cute, like, slide-on tennis shoes type things. I've been wanting a pair and just haven't been able to find a pair that I like. So I did say if they had any cute ones that they think would be my style, they should send them to me. So I hope I like them. Oh, I'm excited. I hope that's what's actually in here. <laughs> it feels like canvas. Okay, no, I'm not a crud. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. So these are Tom's. I personally don't like the way Toms look on feet. I just, I don't know what it is about them. I just don't like them. I hear they're really comfy and they're for a great cause, right? Like all of the Toms shoes, if you buy a pair, they send a pair to someone in need. So that's great. 
I just, I, I'm so sorry if you like Toms. I just think they're really ugly. <laughs> so sad especially because I'm pretty sure you know with Stitch Fix they recently added a feature where when you're on your profile and everything they'll show you some items and you can just say whether yes you would wear that item or no you would not wear that item and then one time anyways one of the items that I had said yes I would wear that item they sent it to me and then I kept it because I ended up you know loving it it was a pair of earrings and I'm pretty sure every time I've seen Tom's on that I've said no I would not wear them so I'm a little sad, <laughs> ah, but okay. Oh, a bag. I. Okay. I might have said I like this bag. That's the only reason why I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> But no, maybe not, because it's a... Oh, it is a crossbody. Okay. I mean, I love the mustard color. I really do. I used to have a bag that was this color, and I don't have it anymore. And I don't hate the lining. It's like a white and red paisley pattern. It says crossbody, but this... Whose body could that go across? An infant's? I'm assuming there's a larger strap in here. There is. Okay. So I don't have like a huge need for a new bag, which is the only reason why I'm like, oh. But it's got nice pockets in here. So that's nice. Easy cell phone access. It's got a zipper. I'll have to see what the price is because like I said, I'm not in need of a bag. But this is cute. And I do like the color. So we'll see. We'll see. I was going to say, maybe if I'm wanting to keep all the other items, because then the other thing with Stitch Fix, if you keep all five of the items they sent you, you end up getting a, I'm pretty sure it's 25% off of the whole order. So there's that incentive, but I'm not keeping the Toms. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so the few clothing items we have here, they feel very soft. So I mean, that's exciting. Like this is really soft <laughs> um and let's see is it oh cute i think it's like a t-shirt dress it's so soft oh stitch fix oh stitch fix no oh stitch fix no now this is something i would be able to send in ah to get an exchange because obviously there is a hole in this can we see the hole yes yes so that's a bummer but i will still try this on for you guys and also for me to see if i even want to exchange it this is from nine brit on. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from them. This is an extra large, but it's cute. I like that the floral, I could, you know, wear this any time of year, but it's kind of more geared towards, you know, like a fall or winter floral. And it's cute. I would absolutely wear this with like a pair of tights and high boots or something. Dang, they loaded me up on floral, all three of these pieces. Now this material, I hate, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It just feels really cheap to me. I don't know how to describe it. It's really, it's not like scratchy or anything. It's just, it's it's not my kind of a material. I mean, if the thing is really cute on me, I might be able to see past it, but it's just not the kind of material that really breathes. I do like the colors of it, you know? We got the mustard in there as well. The floral with some birds. It looks like it's just a wrap dress. So, really not sure, but this looks cute. And also, so super soft. Is this from the same company? Yes, it is. That's why. So this is also from Nine Breton. This looks like the exact same kind of dress, except a little different. I mean, it's green with a floral, yeah? But then in the back, it's got something that I love. It's got the crisscross detail there. So not gonna lie, I'm not in love with this stuff. Um, I'm curious to see if it's my same stylist because I feel like my stylist really has understood me, my past couple boxes, Sasha. Ah, they gave me a different stylist. Sasha, where did you go? Please come back. Did I say I was looking for dresses? Maybe this is my fault. <laughs> but I think even if I requested a dress, it's like, I don't need three of them. I don't know, maybe just send me one or two. But it says, <laughs> There you go. Focused mainly on dresses. Ah, yes, I asked for sweater dresses, like if they had any sweater dresses. These are not sweater dresses though, <laughs> like at all. But yes, I did notice how comfy they seem. They, they are very soft. I've also noticed you've enjoyed moody florals in the past. The pattern is perfect for fall and will pair remarkably with black fleece tights and matching ankle booties. And yeah, there we go. And they also, you know, give you like, how to style things if you didn't know how you wanted to style things. I'm so sad, where did Sasha go? <sighs> Either way, let's try these things on. First up, 
this dress. So cute! Like, this is adorable! I feel like it fits and flares in all the right places. It's super soft, like I said. It's the perfect length for me. Sorry, I know it's a mess in here. <laughs> I love that the sleeves are this kind of a three-quarter length sleeve. Yeah, isn't that what this length is? I like the print. I like the material. It's a really cute dress, but it's got a hole in it, so... <laughs> Depending on how much it is. I will absolutely exchange it for a different one that is not damaged. Because like I said, so comfy and so cute. This would absolutely, I mean, not only not with tights, but also with tights, boots. Yeah, this is freaking cute. I love this. All right, and then we have the wrap dress. It's fine. Like, there's just nothing special about it. Like I said, I don't love the material. It's a good length on me and it fits me. It's just, I don't know, it's a cheaper feeling fabric for sure. The pattern isn't something that I'm like, I love it so much or anything. Like I wouldn't feel gross wearing this or anything, but it's just not me, you know? I mean, it's a short sleeve wrap dress. Like there's not really <laughs> much to it. I feel like for me, I especially like wrap dresses that are actual wrap dresses, not like mock ones like this where there's no actual wrapping happening except for I guess in the top, but yeah, I mean it's just, it's, it's just not me. Oh, this one has pockets! Always a plus for pockets. Okay, I'm just not sure about the fit of this one. Like I think the I don't know. Yeah, I guess I just don't love the pattern of this one as much. I mean, it's not horrible or anything, and like, greens, especially like foresty greens like this, do look good, not only against my skin, but like with my eyes, like, and that, so that's fine. It's just the pattern overall. Eek! You know, sleeve length is good. I would wear a different bra with this, but something about this just isn't fitting on my body, which is weird because I have a very broad top, like my shoulders and my back and my rib cage and stuff, but this seems almost too broad, which like I said, is just, it's weird. I usually don't come across that problem at all, but I just don't love the way that it sits like on my shoulders. I've got it kind of positioned properly, but I feel like it would be slipping down all day, every day. I don't know. Yeah, I just really, I don't like this one as much. It's a bit shorter than the other one, which I don't dislike, you know? Like, I'm a short person, so it doesn't bother me at all. Apparently, something's going on outside. Maybe they're telling me, uh-uh, Cassie, we don't like it either. I mean, it's just, it's okay. I'd rather wear this than the wrap dress, but I'd much rather wear the first dress than this one. <sighs> all right, you guys, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm an especially easy client for Stitch Fix. Like, they should just get me right. Not only can they see these YouTube videos of mine, I've got my Pinterest page pinned, but for some reason, this was really not a good Stitch Fix for me. <sighs> okay, so the Toms. They're 50 bucks, I think, is that like a normal price for Tom's? Either way, I'm not keeping those. <laughs> the, the wrap dress uh, is $54. No, that's like a $15 to $20 dress, the material and everything. I would never pay that. The back detail and, uh, no, different prices. Cool! <laughs> the one that I like better is cheaper. <laughs> These are still overpriced in my eyes, but the one, the dress with the cross, the XX on the back is 48 bucks. It's expensive, yeah, but at the same time, it's one of those things where Stitch Fix, I understand that they have to inflate these prices because they have to stay in business, right? Still, that being said, it just wasn't a good fit for me exactly, and the crossbody bag was 48 bucks, which is pretty much what I would expect for that kind of a bag. It's really soft. I just, like I said, I feel like I have my one purse, and that's my purse, you know? So I don't know that I really needed a bag, or that I'm like so in love and enamored with it that like I'm gonna keep it. I guess we'll see in these coming days here before I send this stuff back, but I don't think I will. And then the first dress that I tried on that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna exchange because like the 20 bucks I want it to go towards something you know and that'll be fine it's 44 bucks so I'll just pay an extra 24 bucks for it and pretend like that was how much it cost me <laughs> but either way I just like you know I'd rather that than have the 20 bucks go to waste type of a thing I'll just exchange it for one that doesn't have a hole in it that'll be great so this stitch fix 
was a huge bummer. And it was especially a huge bummer after my last one was so good. But there you go. I guess now you can really see that these can be very hit or miss, even if you have been with Stitch Fix for a while. This was my 14th fix. <sighs> not not the greatest. Can I have Sasha again? Please, please tell me she didn't leave Stitch Fix. I just, <laughs> she was doing so well. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got in my Stitch Fix for this month. Let me know what you thought of the items. Let me know how you feel about Stitch Fix as a whole. I mean, I know, like I said, a lot of you don't like Stitch Fix, but uh, I like it and I like doing these videos. So <laughs> that's that. I think that's it for now. I love hearing from you guys in the comments down below. So let me know how you felt about these items on me. Did you have the same opinions, different opinions? I love hearing from you guys. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful on whether or not you you want to get a stitch fix maybe for yourself reminder I do always have my affiliate link down in the description box below but you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful if you give me a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future you can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I'd love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well until next time just stay well until then bye